Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about continued conversation on our Google Home or the Assistant on our Google Home. Specifically, this feature was announced at Google I.O., but we finally have it here. It's turned on and it came in last night, so I'm definitely very happy to check it out. But I'm going to share with you guys today how to set it up, how to use it, and what are some of the limitations that we have on the system. This is TK. Let's check it out. On your device, what you need to make sure is connect to the same Wi-Fi as your Google Home setup and go ahead and open up the Google Home application on your phone. As long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, you should be able to start seeing your devices and interacting with them. Pick preferences and then we should be able to see continued conversation. Now, the last time I did a video for you guys, we had the assistant voice that added six new additional voices for us to be able to inter interact with. I currently still and I will always probably use the original voice as that's my favorite, but you do have some of the new ones coming in. Now, continue conversation will be the option here. If you see that option, go in and turn it on from this point, and it will list all the speakers that you have the ability of using this functionality on them. You can also check this within each speaker to make sure that this is turned on if you're having any concerns. Other than that, you're pretty much set. Uh, you can put your phone away and start interacting with your Google Home. Now, interacting with this is gonna be very similar to the way we normally use our Google Home. We'll initiate it with a keyword, and once we turn that on, you'll be able to have basically an eight second window at the end of that question or the answer to that question, and you'll be able to ask it another question or a follow-on question without having to initiate the command one more time. So it's a really, really good time saver, and it also makes the conversation with the assistant a little bit more natural as we don't have to keep asking it to turn on every time. Now, there are certain things that you can and cannot do. An example would be is you can't use this command during a call. Uh, you can't use it on during the middle of, a, let's say, a timer that's going off or is, if you're listening to specific media. So if you're listening to some music, it's going to stop listening to you anymore and it's going to just play the song. So if you command it to play a song, cannot do a song and then command other things. Uh, the song will probably be end up being the end of a command string that you're going through. Uh, conversely, if you want to end the conversation with the Google Assistant and make sure that it shuts off its mics, um, as well as just keep in mind when the mics are on, the lights on this Google Home will be on. Uh, you, you end the conversation by saying, thank you, thank you Google, or I'm done. Very simple, as if you're having a conversation with a regular person. For the example, I'm going to do about 10 questions, of go doing continuous questions over and over, and then ending the conversation with the I'm done. Uh, but conversely, I'm doing another video with my son, showcasing over 100 continuous questions on the Google Home, running with this continuous command. So let's go ahead and start. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Where does a general keep his armies? In his sleepies. Drop a beat. Sure, I know a guy. Hold on, I'll get him. Set the volume to six and tell me a joke. What's a deer's favorite dance? The do si -do. Roll a die. You got it. You rolled a five. Who is Benedict Cumberbatch? According to Wikipedia, Benedict Timothy Carlton Cumberbatch is an English actor who has performed in film, television, theater, and radio. Is he married? He's been married to Sophie Hunter since 2015. How old is he? 41 years old. How tall is he? Six feet. Do you like me? You're my favorite person ever. Where are you located? You can find me in all kinds of devices. Phones, Google Home, pretty sweet digs if you ask me. Thank you. I'm happy to help. Now, so you notice once I said the command, thank you, it actually said, it, it responded back and of course, then it turned off all the lights. So conversely, you can not only go continuous conversation, but you can also initiate the two step command. So uh, you notice on my number four, I asked it to do two things, setting a volume and telling me a joke. So it set the volume to six and then it told me a joke. So in reality, I'm at 11, not really at 10, but I counted them as one command as we're, you know, we're able to do combined commands and hopefully in the near future, we should be able to start getting 
three commands at the same time. Keep in mind that this feature is starting to roll out in the US. It's definitely very functional and I love the fact that you are automatically initiated and you start just talking to it and continue talking till you're done. And when you're done, you say, thank you, I'm done. And it's a very nice, polite way to end the conversation. So that was one of the other things they announced at Google I.O. is the interface with our assistant and that we sometimes take advantage of it and we're a little bit too harsh. So being nice and being polite at the end of a conversation when you're done, it's also very good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. As I mentioned, this is currently starting to roll out in the US. I'm not sure as far as different countries, the best way to do this is go into your Google Home application, connect to the same Wi-Fi as your Google Assistant or the Home or the Home Mini or the Max, and see if that feature turns on uh, under the preferences. If you don't see it, then hopefully in the near future. But if you do, definitely check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for the support and hope you have a great conversation with your Google Assistant.